Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys on our beautiful Gore's playmat, which used to be my brother's old playmat, uh, back when he was playing the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! It actually says Dragon Duelist National Championship, because he went to Dragon Duels. This was ages ago. Um, but yes, we got our three mail call video openings. Um, not much today in today's mail call, guys, but I do apologize for that. But I haven't ordered much recently, so... Uh, so we got our three packages to open up. I'm pretty much saving up money for Bosch. Though I do not know when we'll get out of Bosch really because everything's kind of expensive. So I'm not going to break the bank. So first off we got a card that I'm going to do, be do, doing a card discussion on probably in the next week or two. You guys will probably see this card eventually. Uh, me talking about it. Or you already have. And that's a card that's a game promo called Last Liberate the, at the last will. No, excuse me. Let me pronounce it. Liberated, liberated at last. Oh my gosh, it took me like five minutes to get that correct. Five times to get that correct. But liberated at last. Uh, it's really cool artwork. Uh, it's an old game promo, I think. But I'm going to read it to you guys. It's really cool. It says, Activate only when a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Okay? Select two face-up monsters on the field and return them to the hand. So, when one of your monsters gets destroyed, you flip liberate it at last. And if they're doing pendulum summoning, making exceeds and whatnot, you go, okay, bounce that back, bounce that back. Not bad. It's a little tech card you can try out. Um, I really like it. It's a really cool card. It's, I don't think it's going to be like mainstream, but it's a card you could definitely look into and try it out in one of your decks. So That's one of the cards right there. I'll be definitely doing a tech talk about that in the next couple of days, or I've already done it already. Uh, let's see what the next mail is. They put a lot of tape on this one. My gosh. So I guess I'm going to have to open it from the bottom because I cannot get all that tape off. Let's see here. What did we get in today's mail call? What else did we get? Mail call! Let's see. I'm so happy people are starting to like mail call. Because when I started this, it was ages ago. I started this like three years ago, and people were like, what the fudge is this? And now people will enjoy it, watching it for fun. Ah, okay, so we got some more stuff for I know you guys are going to like. Ow! Cut myself. Ooh, under the nail, too. Ow! Did not feel good. Not fun. We got, oop, came off its package. Three DDD Oracle King D Arc. <laughs> yes. Um, this card actually went up in price to like a $5 rare um, before the reprint came out. And now it's gone back up. So I would suggest that you try to maybe pick these up before the, uh, the structure deck comes out. Uh, whenever that comes out next year. Because this is going to be a really good card. And you definitely need it as a three of in that deck. And if you, unless you want to play five, six bucks, go pick them up now. Um, let's see what we got in the next package. Could be some more DVD stuff, I forget. I ordered these things last year, and because of the holidays, it took so long to get here. Ah. Play local, win big. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I, don't know where, I don't know where this is. Ah. Open this up. Come on. What are we getting here? Oh my gosh. It must be expensive if they put that much paper on it. They like taped it up and then they taped it up again with two pieces of paper. So it must be expensive whatever I got. No, not really. But thank you for the extra effort to make sure it ships proper properly. What is in here? I cannot recall. It's, 50, it's a whole bunch of blue eyes. No. Um, okay. So we got one number 87 Queen of the Night. I picked this card up because it's not bad, but mainly because I like the artwork. <laughs> and two Gem Knight Tourmaline. Um, just for freaking maybe using these and my Gem Knights instead of the other ones because they these guys are unaffected by Fiendish Chain. But right now I'm just going with the other ones, the more stronger attack. Because I'm not paying the Garnet price for Garnet. So we got two Termini uh, for the Gym Knight Fusion, maybe. Uh, one number 87, Queen of Knights. 
three DDD arc and three liberated at last, which is a card that's actually really underrated. I feel like it's actually not a bad card. I was I was looking at a friend at locals who was playing it, and I was like, oh, that's a card I never heard. And I looked it up. And I was like, oh, this is not a bad card. So we'll definitely be doing this discussion video on this in the future. But till next time, guys. Take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Seto Kaiba, I'm out of here till next time, guys. And good luck dueling to all of you. Hope you enjoyed this mail call video.